Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be the final video for the 55 Chevy Stepside. Uh, this is for Mutt Modeler's um, Father's Day tribute build. Um, obviously I fell short of my goal of having it done by Father's Day. Um, even though Craig had a pretty generous um, deadline uh, for the build, uh, it actually it runs until... Um, Sometime in 2018, uh, I'm not I'm not real sure right now exactly when it is, but um, I set a personal goal of having it done by Father's Day this year. Uh, I come real close, but I run into a couple of uh, little hiccups that uh, really, you know, was kind of out of my hands. Um, but I just finally got it got it finished up. Um, it's not the greatest. But I don't think it turned out too awful bad. Um, my daughter seemed to have confiscated my little uh, turntable. And uh, unfortunately I don't want to touch it too much because I just had a couple of things fall off that I had to re-glue. But I wanted to get this video done anyways. Um, it's not a bad kit. Um, it, it does, you know, have a couple little flaws, but um, all in all, it uh, it goes together pretty well. Uh, I'm real happy with the paint job. Um, it is the Gravity Colors uh, Patronic Blue, and uh, the last video everybody saw it. You know, a lot of comments about it. Uh, you should see this outside in the in the sunlight. I mean, it really really shines. Uh, lots of flake. It's just a really, really nice color. Um, it's basically it's box stock, uh, with the exception of the wheels. Uh, they are Pegasus, but I don't remember what they're called. Uh, they're 19s and 23s. Um, I did say at the beginning of the build that I wanted to put a big hammer in it. Uh, which, you know, was my dad, you know, he, you know, that's what he called, uh, big block Chevys. Uh, I tried to fit one in, but I'd have been getting into cutting, modifying the cross members and, uh, engine mounts and everything. And I know it's just simply, it's just plastic, but at the time I'd set a personal goal of having it done by, uh, Father's Day. And I didn't want to get into all that, so... Uh, I just, you know, left the small block that was in it. Uh, the big trouble part for me was the windshield. Uh, this is actually the third windshield that I've had in the kit. Uh, the first windshield didn't even fit. It was it was too small. Um, it, it was almost like it was, you know, an, an eighth inch small. I mean, it, it nowhere even close to fitting. Um, I built one of these kits probably 25 years ago, and I actually still have it, um, but it suffered some damage when I moved, and, uh, it actually was one of my better builds from, uh, my teenage years, and, uh, like I said, it got damaged when I moved, and it just was ended up in a box, and, uh, I went looking for it, and... The windshield was nice. I was able to get it out. Um, it fit in there perfectly. It was like it was made for this kit. It fit in there absolutely perfectly. So I was outlining the uh, the window trim with the uh, liquid chrome marker. And I dropped it. And I just ever so slightly eased back in my chair and I heard a crunch. And well, wouldn't you know it, that damn thing had to go right right by one of the wheels. And I mean, like I said, I just moved my chair back, you know, two inches. And I run over that damn windshield. So, this windshield was one that I forgot I even had. It was from uh, the 56 Cameo. Uh, it was a, a project I started, again, probably close to 25 years ago. I decided I was going to pro street one of those 
and uh, never finished it, but somehow it survived. And um, I used the windshield net. Um, it's not perfect. There is a a mark um, in it. I don't know if you can see those little marks there. I did sand this windshield and uh, polished it, both front and back, and it appears that it's in the plastic. But it is what it is. It's a best option I have for a windshield, so there it is. Um, I just realized I'm missing the battery. Oh well. Uh, but there it is, guys. There's uh, my 55 Chevy Stepside for uh, Mutt Modeler's Father's Day tribute build. Uh, I just want to thank Craig for uh, hosting it. I think it was a really cool idea. I uh, really enjoyed building this. And uh, thanks for watching.